Hey, this is Syx. I'm standing here outside my uh, dispenser fed armor, weapon, and tool crafting room. So, I'll show you how it works. Uh, say I wanted to make a full set of iron armor. Maybe I just died, want to restock. So, I need uh, eight pieces of iron for the chest plate, need seven for the leggings. Maybe I have a bunch of levels saved up and I want to make a diamond helmet instead, so I need five pieces of diamond to make that helmet. Um, maybe I need a sword as well, so I need a stick and a couple pieces of diamond. A bow. I need uh, three string, three more sticks. So basically, you can choose from any button along the walls and. Uh, just flip the lever down for diamond, up for iron, and uh, you'll get the materials needed to craft each one of these. I got uh, inspiration to make this from something I saw in one of Doc M's videos, but I just took it to the logical end point. Uh, so, and another design goal I had with this was to have exactly one dispenser to feed each material. So. There's one for iron, one for diamond, one for sticks, one for string. Alright, so for the operation of the room, I needed to come up with two mechanisms, really. One was a way to trigger the dispenser, uh, however many times I wanted a single dispenser to dispense up to eight of one thing. I'm sure everybody's worked with dispensers before and knows how finicky they are. Um, so uh, I came up with this mechanism. I'm sure I'm not the first one to do it, but basically it powers the dispenser, um, but also provides redstone updates that cause it to fire again uh, the further down the line you go. So first it powers it, and then it changes the power level of the wire that's beside the dispenser and shoots out uh, extra materials. So that was two go one more, more down, you get three, you come down here, you get four, and you can hook these together to go up to uh, eight items dispensed at once. The second mechanism I needed was a way to switch between iron and diamond, and uh, this is what I came up with. So if I put a block behind this dispenser, it cuts the wire that was going down and across and instead has both of these lines running into the block behind this dispenser. So hit that, triggers. If I get rid of this block and instead have one back here, it will trigger the other dispenser. So that's the idea behind the switching between the uh, iron and the diamond. All right, now I'll show you the outside of the room. So uh, behind each of these blocks, down here is uh, the button. What's well, actually behind here triggers a piece of wire on top of this block. And then everything you see on the side here um, is just for propagating the signal upwards without adding width to the room. Once it gets to the top, so we have the button for the chest plate behind here, signal comes up, hits this block, and uh, does what I showed you. Um, sending power down this wire and then uh, triggering it um, up to one, two, three, four, five times on this side. So that wire then uh, drops down, goes behind, and skips that first dispenser because the block is up and goes into the block over there. Now, this uh, repeater here also sends power up here. Um, and across the room here because that's the side for the armor and I only have uh, up to five items dispensed. It um, pushes the signal into the weapon side, the weapon and tool side. So uh, this first one doesn't have any wire beside it. It starts here. So one, two, three more blocks for a total of eight for the chest plate. And this wire goes just into the other side of that same block there that's behind that uh, one dispenser. So that's the, the armor side is very simple. It just uh, hits 
eight for the chest plate, seven for the leggings, and then uh, five for helmet, four for boots. Now, the uh, side for the tools is a little bit different. Um, it does the same thing, sending the signal upwards. Uh, so you get um, this one for the pickaxe. It just propagates through um, unchanged to uh, join up with the one for just the regular axe because those require the same numbers of materials. Uh, and then you have the hoe, which requires two iron or diamond, and then the shovel is just a single. And since each tool requires two sticks, that uh, signal from the buttons also travels through this line up top here uh, through another one of the dispenser firing units that just hits uh, two different um, firing signals, comes down this wire, and ends up in that block there, which is directly on top of the dispenser for sticks. Uh, then the sword and bow units are a little bit different. Um, the button for uh, bows is behind there, or sorry, it's, yeah, it's it's uh, it's behind this block here. It uh, propagates up through here, uh, ends up coming up to here uh, we have one two three blocks so three firing signals for uh, the dispensers since you need three uh, string and three sticks for a bow and that signal travels over top of uh, the string dispenser which is underneath this wire and block and also over top of the stick dispenser which is underneath this wire and block uh, the sword is similar, it just travels through here, propagates up. Uh, I have another um, dispenser firing unit here um, that sends a signal, like uh, uh, two firing signals across into the same line from the uh, armor into the block behind one of those two dispensers. And it also sends a single signal up here um, joins in with this stick line and ends up in this block here above the sticks for uh, firing out one stick for a sword so other than that it's just compacting all the circuitry I kind of obsessively compact everything so it uh, ended up pretty small oh the last thing I forgot is the lever uh, is behind this repeater here that signal travels up here and just um one one of the pistons is uh powered by this torch and then the other piston is powered by the inverted signal here so uh one block is up and one block is down and the block that's down is right there behind one dispenser and the block that's up is uh above there right now so that's that's the whole mechanism um, it's not particularly complicated but I just thought it was a, a pretty neat idea and uh, if anybody's interested I'd be more than happy to upload a schematic for this and my YouTube account was recently monetized so I'd be very happy if people could uh, rate comment or subscribe uh, be trying to get more viewers in the future, maybe eventually get a partnership. So thanks a lot for watching.